Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're gonna talk Versace. Donatella has um, showcased Spring Summer 2023 and we're gonna review the show together. Now before we do that, subscribe to my channel, you're on the tubes. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Jacob there for extra perks. Thank you, everybody, who has already pledged. And this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday. And you're all invited to join me for the live chat. So I have my co-chatters in the sidebar waiting in the, <laughs> in the lines to comment with me this show. But before we get to it, this video is sponsored by Lily Silk. Hi, everybody. Lily Silk has so graciously sponsored this video, and I am wearing the 22M basic male shirt, actually two of them, and I'm enjoying them very much in silk. They're really comfortable, and I'm using them and wearing them under the strongest of lights, spotlights. This silk is so breathable. I do not sweat at all. I feel super comfy and cozy at the same time, which is amazing. Plus, I like sustainability, and they are sustainable too. They have implemented a thing called zero waste, and here's an example of it. One of the pillowcases that I use. So these are all bits of silk that they utilize leftovers from other products that they do. So in order to not throw it away, they put it all together and create extra pieces out of it so that there is zero waste, which is amazing. They're also in collaboration with TerraCycle. So you could send them, you can send to TerraCycle your old pieces of silk materials that you want to throw away. Well, don't create garbage. Send it to them. They work with Lily Silk and then they recycle the materials to create new things, which is awesome. I'm also a big fan of their scrunchies, by the way. I've been using these particular silk ones. They've also been recycled, by the way. In four different sizes, <laughs> I use the big one to sleep because it's super cozy and comfy. And then the tiniest ones I use when I get ready for my live streams because I put all my hair into them, into the tiny buns so that they don't kind of disturb me while I'm moving my head up and down, washing my face, trying to put makeup on. Super, super comfy. Plus they have all those wonderful amino acids which keep the hair lush and humidified all the time. Thank you, Lily Silk, for sponsoring the video. Now back to the content. Oh, one last thing. You want a coupon code? We got you covered. In the description box down below, you could check out all the links I posted for Lily Silk and you can save some money while you're shopping for some fun clothes. I decided to wear the two shirts in particular because it reminds me of my youth when I went to high school and I would combine two shirts at once. So there's a lot of things you can do. Have fun, guys. Back to the video. Donatella Versace has delivered an interesting show. I have to say, though, Remember when we reviewed Fendi a couple of days ago and we were so looking forward uh, to, well, it was a baguette show, Fendi with Tiffany, Marc Jacobs, but the biggest highlight was Linda Evangelista. You can check out that video on my channel as well. We were all anticipating Linda Evangelista, the return of Linda Evangelista on the runway. How did that go? You can check out that video for that. So, but. Donatella is bringing a star as well. This time, it's not Linda Evangelista. Now, who are we looking forward to in the Versace show? Well, Paris Hilton. So Paris Hilton should be in the show. I, I'm so excited to see where, when, and how Paris Hilton is going to grace us with her presence. Super excited for this. So you guys, let's hit it. Let's watch the Versace show together. Oh. The video has been taken from Versace's YouTube channel, so it falls under fair use because we are reviewing it. I'm just uh, using another uh, soundtrack, which is copyright free, or which is yeah, copy free. Let's let's uh, let's play. Let's roll it. All right, you guys. So purple and gold living. <laughs> ah, okay. Look at that Medusa. Okay, so we're going to church, you guys. It's a Medusa cathedral. This is giving me Dolce Gabbana Sicilian vibes, but the cutouts are very Versace. Okay, it's very Gianni, actually. It's like Gianni collaborated with Dolce Gabbana, isn't it? A little bit. 
but these slits of skin showing that is very very Johnny oh the furniture with with kind of the lighting oh my gosh it looks very much like uh, 2001 space odyssey very Stanley Kubrick esque as well I'm loving the gender fluidity here. You don't even know if the models are male or female anymore. It's like it's everywhere. So they're passing through this corridor, which is very Space Odyssey-esque. And then one model or somebody sitting there reading. So I guess the show opens with a lot of uh, black garments. The textiles seem to be stretchy, woven. Bags are in leather. Nina says, the shoes, Deco, what do you think? I kind of like them. So you were talking about the shoes that had the big um, sole? Uh, I don't know. They're all doing them. You know what I mean? Uh, Mark Jacobs just did them as well. The, the strappy sandals are very Donatella. Um, well, these shoes are definitely dangerous to wear because I have... <laughs> Because I have a sneaky suspicion, um, if you if you don't walk, if you have if you don't have a really strong core, you might wobble and kind of fall and, and, and you know and injure yourself, which is not the best thing. But they do look like beautiful, worn. Although right now, what is really catching my attention even more are the glass, are kind of the stained glass Medusa windows resembling a church and all the church candles. It's like Versace is taking us to church. I'm kind of living for that more than for the clothes. I still don't understand why the person is seated down in, in just a bathrobe chilling in that. Like, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, so now we're getting the purple hues as well. This is very interesting. Um, has anybody seen Paris Hilton? Because I haven't. So I guess they're selling Versace home decor as well as the clothes in one show. Like kill two birds with one stone type of scenario. I don't know. The patterns are interesting, but I have a feeling it's like a typical thing that Donatella Versace does when she is in a moment like this. Now we know that they sold to Michael Kors and, you know, probably styles change and they... But anyway... My issue with Donatella has been throughout the years that from one collection to the next, uh, there's no real continuity. Things sometimes change drastically. Like this collection is very different, very different from their last winter collection. Um, and I'm saying this because this is spring, summer 23. So I'm talking fall, winter 22. So the, like the continuity is not really there. Do we see that this is Versace? Not really. And this is a problem that I have with Donatella. She has never really found the core of Versace, unless she doesn't do what her what her brother was famous for, and that is the Greca motifs, uh, the Medusas on the, on the clothing, all of the Baroque motifs, you know? So the problem here is, after Gianni passed away, we're missing evolution. We're missing a, a moment. You know what I mean? We're missing that moment to say, Oh, Versace has evolved into this. Because quite frankly, what I'm seeing on the runway, sure, some of the pieces are cute. But where's the evolution here? Like, you know, so many decades of Versace and this is what we get. It's a little bit... Sorry, the microphone. It's a little bit lackluster. Um, just my humble opinion, you know. Shows like these, or like this, make me always dream about, could you, I always tell myself, Deco, could you imagine if Johnny were still alive today, how incredible this brand would be? Because he passed away at the Olympus of his career. He had so much more ideas, he could have developed so much more. And I always wonder, you know, if he were alive today, where would the brand be? How much further could he have pushed it or would he have pushed it because because this to me is not an evolution of Versace if, if anything it's a devolution or a devolution uh, KDF says I don't recognize it as Versace at all very Michael Kors very Macy's retail ready kind of blue marine uh, uh, if 
what? Oh, it looks like Blue Marine, but done worse, says Katie F. Blonde and Chatty does not like the Gladiator sandals. Oh, that was a Rick Owens moment. Oh my gosh. With the pulled knit um, a garment, the, the, the dress, that was very, very Vicky. Now, I'm not hating on the, on the purple. Don't get me wrong. The colors are beautiful. I mean, black is always beautiful. Purple is always a beautiful color. But it's about the shapes. It's about the construction. I mean, look at that zipper in the back. It's completely off-center. Like, it's already not fitting properly. You know. Um, yeah, the hair is giving... That also very Rick Owens. If Rick Owens did tag you. I don't know what she was thinking. I wonder, is Donatella herself, you know, she has a design team that works for her and with her, so they're probably the ones who are designing. She's maybe overseeing things. I don't think that she's like hands down full on it. I mean, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, just my opinion, not rooted in any truths or facts. So I'm just speculating here how much does Donatella do herself, or how much is she just overseeing everything and being the face, you know, coming out at the end of the show, bowing, you know, because she has a presence. But I wonder how much... I mean, I don't mind this neon color. It does look cheap, though, doesn't it? It's like Dolce Gabbana on some sort of weird color trip. Because it does give me Sicilian uh, Widow vibes uh, with some of the little corsets or the more, you know, bustier type of cuts and trims. Oh, wait, that was Paris Hilton? Oh, there she is! Ah, Paris, darling! Oh, she can't walk the runway to save her life, but we love her. Look at Slevin! Yes, queen! She is the moment. She is the... She's so happy. I love her. <laughs> She's like, yes! She's like, whatever, girl! I'm just gonna let her out. <laughs> yes, queen! You know what? Skip three. She's like, yes, let me do this! <laughs> She's like, oh. oh my god. You know what? Paris Hilton should have done the entire show. I. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? What? <laughs> I love that the camera is following her from beginning to end. <laughs> this is what I wanted Linda Evangelista to give me. I wanted that camera to follow the runway of Linda at Fendi, and instead she didn't even come out. I love that the camera followed Karen. They're like, oh honey, we're gonna get every cent worth of of whatever they paid her. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I love this. This is so cute. <laughs> yes! She's still there, you guys. You know, Paris. She's still like, hold on, I'm not done yet. <laughs> She's like, oh, child, let me do one more round. Let me do one more circle, guys. <laughs> She's like, Donatella, I'm gonna do one more lap. The second lap's on me. I'm not gonna charge you the second lap, girl. <laughs> oh, the little hand on the hip. Oh my God, what, what shoe size does she have? That's like a, that's a ginormous foot. She's tiny, but has big feet. Oh, she's so cute, though. That was such a moment. I mean, she saved the show. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Paris. Yeah, 47 shoe size says 5 unit trophy. She saved the show. She gave us a fun moment. She was so chirpy and happy, and she was like, let me walk. Let me, let me do another round. Let me... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trina says Paris strutting. Let me tell you, Paris puts the P in Paris, and um, <laughs> that person is still sitting on the furniture. But also, Paris took us to church. <laughs> she took us to the Versace church. Oh, I wonder. 
Wait, wait, wait. She's gonna come out at the end with Donatella. Does she have time for a quick change? Is she gonna wear something else for like the closing of the show? Let's see, you guys. Probably didn't have the time to, for a quick change. So she's probably gonna come out with Donatella, but I'm still looking for... And I wonder if they're gonna walk the runway together or... Because Donatella doesn't usually do the full runway. So they might just come out, hug each other... I would love Donatella. Oh my God, Donatella and Paris Hilton to do a full round together. That would that would be that would be the moment. That would be the moment. Yeah. They, <laughs> they said, "Sissy, that walk." Jesus says, and she said, "Nah, let me butch this walk, chop." Okay. So okay, here comes the, the final moment. Okay, how are they gonna come out? What? Where's Paris? And she's like, you know what? Bye, I'm done, girl. <laughs> oh, the, the cat fight backstage. What did the <laughs> Donatella was like? You stole the show. She's like, ragazza, now you don't steal my show. You don't steal my show, Paris, Paris. You walked twice, eh? No, 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 no. Non si fa. Non si fa, Paris. No. Ma che che stai facendo? No. <laughs> so they had a cat fight backstage. Paris is now weeping. And Donatella is like, nobody steals my show. This is my fashion show. <laughs> Living for it. Oh, this was fun. I mean, I gotta say, the show, meh. Paris saved the show. Donatella was kind of moody at the end. Yeah, she was over it, right? Raquel, Raquel says Donatella was over it, lol. I mean, it, she, Donatella... I, listen, living for the wig, Donatella's wig when she came out, like that hair, hmm, living. The, the volume up here, it was, it was, it was giving. The hair was on fleek. I just... Yeah, I just, you know, it didn't make me dream. There was no bag on the runway that I wanted to buy. Like, none of the bags made me go, oh my gosh. The sunglasses didn't make me go, oh my gosh. The clothing, not at all. Not, none of the pieces made me go, oh, wow, this is great. Editorial, special, new, modern. Everything felt dated. Like somebody said before in the comments, very, very much Macy's ready to wear. You know, it was kind of, mm. Oh, five healer trope, throwing shade. When Donatella is better dressed than her models, Nuff said the shade. Zara, Zara Justina, fun review, Jacob. You made the show interesting. I agree. It was lackluster. Thank you, Zara. Very kind of you. Um, oh, yeah, Kev. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kim, Car Kim Kardashian did Dolce Gabbana Milan Fashion Week. Ooh, that's a whole other can of worms that we could maybe touch base on later on. But Kim Kardashian for Dolce Gabbana? Ooh, that was cringe moment. I noticed Donatella's dress was way better. Katie, that's the thing, you guys, in general. Donatella Versace, and she says that in interviews. She always says, you know, I can afford it because they make it for her. Like, she, have you noticed, usually the female designers um, are always their best models. Coco Chanel was her own best model. Nobody, honey. Nobody ever wore Chanel as good as Coco Chanel. Vivian Westwood. Nobody wears Vivian Westwood as good as Vivian Westwood. And Donatella Versace, nobody wears Versace, female Versace, as good as Donatella Versace. Never will. Never has and never will. She is the embodiment of, of, of that brand. So she can pull off even these kind of lackluster outfits because on her, the way that they tailor it to her body, it's going to work amazing. Bottom line. So, but it is kind of sad, right? When, when, the actual designer steps out and what they're wearing kind of overshadows and how they're wearing it and how they're wearing the Versace spirit, how that overshadows the rest of the models. And let me tell you one more thing. It's not just about the clothes that they're wearing. It's also about the character of these models. Gianni was one of the, <clears throat> was actually the designer that created the supermodels of the 80s slash 90s. He was the one who gave them the platform. He was the one telling the Cindy Crawfords um, and the Linda Evangelistas to show character on, on the runway. He was the one telling them, steal the show, be you. He was very giving. He created that vibe. He's gone now. 
Now the models on the runways of all of these lackluster fashion shows, they're usually told to know, don't show any expressions, don't show any emotions, don't become a star. We don't want to pay you too much. So the clothes have to speak for themselves. So, but the problem is that the whole DNA, the essence of Gianni Versace is character. So if you, as a model, don't have that character, you can't pull off Versace. This is coincidentally why Paris Hilton was so amazing in that really ugly dress, let's be honest. I mean, what was it? It was like a Madonna vibe, like, like a virgin in tulle, pink 80s moment. I mean, come on. But at least she was fun. She was fun. She showed character. She didn't give a flying F. She just walked there. She's like, yes, honey. Hi, everybody. And that's what made it special. And that's what made all of Johnny's show special. His clothes and the DNA of the Versace brand require charisma, talent, uniqueness, nerve, right? And this is what Donatella has. When Donatella comes out dressed in whatever she's wearing, she's going to steal the show. So... <clears throat> Maybe even more than changing the design of the collection, I think they should have changed the models. I think, I think the fashion world has become so sad because it, it lacks character. We need to offer a stage to models again that, that have character, that have charisma, that enjoy life. Just my, just my humble opinion. You guys let me know in the comment section down below, but, uh, you know. Sorry, the Hadids and the Kardashians, they just don't do it for me. Okay? So sue me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Never give up on love and subscribe.